Hello. I am Insipid Von Money Currency, and I shall be your host today for the Trovian Showcase. Where are we presently? We are within Permafrost, a snowy wasteland of awesome and wintry fun. Ah, marvellous. Look how crystal clear it all is, beautiful and crystalline in nature. Let us go and see what we can find out about the inhabitants of this marvellous land. Herein we see a structure composed of what would seem to be snow and ice. Hop on inside, find our portal and make our way inside. Excellent, yes. We have the Draco Lich. Mm, appears to be of a uh, bone type nature. Not sure if that's directly related to the Oh my, that doll is a bald. Ha <laughs> ha! Mm. Now, as for the location for which the Draco Lich was kept, we are seeing some very fine, very aesthetically pleasing structures, a checkered pattern on the ceiling, ornate pillars, a chest being protected, water features, lovely, all of it quite marvellous, wherein we must ask, was the Draco Lich being held captive, or... Was this simply the home and residence of the Draco Lich? If it was, are we the intruder? Were we the villain all along? Are they the monster? Or are we? What have we here? It appears that a spider is entirely encased in ice. What an intriguing structure. Were we to free the monstrosity, would it lunge forward and attack, or is it already dead? Perhaps it's neither. Is this some ornate decoration for the inhabitants within? Hmm. Let us find out. Very good. And making our way inside. Making our way inside, perhaps, if we manage to actually have uh, bombs in place. Are very awkward. Mostly for everyone else besides myself. I, uh, I am never awkward for any reason whatsoever. I'm sure there might have been a more polite manner in which to uh, enter this location. However, uh, this seems to have gotten the job done. Not seeing any giant spiders... I am seeing, however, that uh, they have placed a portal at the front of the spider, which may or may not have led to the ass of the spider. An error may have been made. Uh, all things considered, though, I believe that the investigation of this facility may have been cut short. The objective was complete, which is fine, uh, and the structure itself is quite lovely. However, it seems that it might all be very, um, hmm, completed. Most unfortunate. One may note that the items found within a given region uh, do appear to be a bit themed. That was called Snowy's Last Stand. Fascinating to find within the permafrost. I like it personally. However, we must be on to our next location. Let us suss it out. What have we here? Well, nothing short of what I would call a giant fuck sword. Not a for sword of fucking, obviously, but it's uh, a sword, and it's gigantic. Unf. However, as per the situation as of this kind, we have found a portal at the base of it, and when you find a portal at the base of your sword, there's no choice but to go in, balls deep. Shall we? On over like so, and see what is up. Choose the sword below the, below the level now. Good, yes. And that perhaps these are meant to be traps. Oh, marvelous. A trapped sword. It's, it's somewhat humorous, if nothing else, just because the sword happens to be trapped in the ground. Is that another level below? Who are we trying to find? The White Knight. Ah... As a general theme, 
Very fun. I believe it's it's you. It's a white. Aha! Uh -huh. And is attempting to attack us. Now, uh, perhaps if it was carrying a sword and a shield, we'd be a little bit more logical. However, very fine. Go and break this on open. Tundra Tiara, excellent. And Slope Survivor. Again, themed items. Marvelous. Absolutely beautiful. Well, this looks most interesting. How queer. Wouldn't exactly call it an igloo. However, it is a dome of snow. Shall we find out what's inside? I think we shall. And perhaps, with any luck, we can learn a bit more about the inhabitants. Well, this room appears to be a layer of suck, spikiness, and hatred. Perhaps we can do better. We are looking for the frozen soul sealer. Ah, hmm. Bit of a wraith creature here. Tad on the undead side. It's here to have to steal my soul. Very fine. There are known within many cultures uh, ice-based creatures that uh, are, attempt to steal the essence of a person. Perhaps it is inspired thus. Again, does not appear to be uh, an attempt to restrain the creature. However, I also do not see any kind of furnishings beyond jump pads. <gasps> this is a recreational center. This frozen soul, soul stealer was simply uh, attempting to take the company of his kin, his brethren, and we have come here to slaughter him. Now, I will be quite certain to be clear in this situation. They attacked first. However, we were not invited and are somewhat classically known for murdering everyone ever. Rhyme Striker. Snowy's last stand again. Very fine. Uh, what's that? Yes, good. 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 I've never enjoyed uh, portals that don't leave you on top. Really, just problematic in the utmost. I desire to make my way to new locations, and you have put me in an inconvenienced manner. Now, if I had my way, every portal would always leave you on top of the X. But what do I know? Very interesting. What appears to be a tower of ice, some form of general structure, appears to have something being built atop it. Very interesting. I have no idea who. I have no idea why. But it seems they are intent upon erecting something atop it. And that someone else at this very moment is dreadfully intent upon blowing me the fuck up. The bastards. I suppose we'd better investigate. In the name of anthropological science. Here we go. Is this a staircase? Oh, goodness, it is. These are boost pads, I would presume, to take us atop. And once we arrive... Oh, a tunnel within. Splendid. I imagine those blue blocks were meant to stop our fall, allow us to take less damage as we went. However, circumstances given was not terribly pertinent. I am guessing that this would go in the opposite direction. No, it's a dead end! Even better. What? What is this? What? That appears to be a primordial flame protected by small... Hmm, spirits? Interesting. Moving on. Aha! We have a Draco Lich. Dreadfully common, these Draco Liches. Dreadfully common is this amount of damage I'm taking, it would seem. All the same, a fuzzy friend, very nice. Hopefully some nice earmuffs for me to use. And a rhymed raid bow. Ah, it's a bow item. Well said, well said. Mm. Circumstances given. Of the structures we've encountered so far, this seems most likely to have been an imprisoning structure. It is buried deep within the ground. It is protected by a large tower, which requires climbing under most circumstances. And uh, the exit would not have been easily suited for a departure on the part of the dragon. The Draco Lich, that is. As you see here, um, we would go up as so. Yes, very good. We exit here. 
And we would note then that the way out is thus. However, if these blocks were not present, one would have to attempt and fly or jump out respectively. Not the easiest task. And with enough failures, the uh, Draco Lich would be trapped almost indefinitely. Let's see if we, we could even get out uh, as, as it stands. It does not appear so. Oh, oh goodness. I would say that's somewhat definitive. Additionally, it would be of note that uh, most Draco Liches that we have thus encountered do not have teleporting abilities, or, alternatively, destructive explosive abilities, wherein they could dig their way out. Things worthy of note. Hello. Most excellent. Very informative about the permafrost. I hope that with time, we are able to learn more. This has been Insipid Von Money Currency, and you have been watching the Trovian Showcase. Please join us next week for the next installment of Anthropological Science.